here at Douglas Shire Chambers this morning uh, before the ordinary meeting and there's a protest and it's a peaceful one at that and joining me now is Lawrence Mason and a number of residents from the Daintree who want a new ferry and um, guys welcome to Newsport and morning Lawrence. Morning. What's the purpose of you being here this morning with you with your allies this morning? We're trying to uh, shock the Douglas Shire Council into some action. Um, you know, it's taken them nearly six years to not build Noah's Bridge. They've had the ferry for two years. They still haven't ordered a new ferry. And we've got consequent um, closures as a result of that because they're trying to run an ancient ferry to do the job of a new one. So we just want them to take action, order a new ferry, build Noah's Bridge, start doing something instead of talking about it. Do you think being here this morning will spark Douglas Shire officials into action in regards to getting uh, a new ferry, Lawrence? We can only hope. Um, Realistically though, I mean, there's word now this morning from a, uh, a morning media release that we'll have uh, over the next six weeks, we'll have future works uh, on the ferry. Um, what do you make of, of this Band-Aid uh, solution at the moment, Lawrence? Look, the devil's gonna be in the details, as one of the locals said. Um, will the ferry reopen in the morning? Will they find more damage like they did when they took the ferry out of the water? Um, what will happen if an elderly person or a, uh, someone who already has health problems gets sick after 8 p.m. at night? Um, I think the potential for disaster during the six week period is really high. Um, and just, you've touched on a few, just take us through a bit more deeply about some of the impacts uh, and the effects that like over the next six weeks when we have these, um, the works on the ferry, just take us through the impact that it has on the residents north of the river. Like how does this affect everybody? One, yep. of our, one of our biggest issues is that there is no consultative process um, with residents who live north of the river. And for uh, nearly a decade now, we've begged that there be a Daintree Reference Committee, something where community members can communicate with council about the things that they specifically need in the context we have. And that's just been rejected, ignored, and basically told it's, you're not important enough to do that. So the very beginning point is community collaboration. Just on that, what word were you given in regards to the upcoming works on the ferry over this next six week period? The same as you got this morning. Just the morning media release? Yep, nothing, no other communication whatsoever. Anybody else had anything else? No. How do you find, in terms of being a, a ratepayer in the Shire, how do you feel about that level of communication from your local Shire? Um, disappointing. Um, bewildered in a time when community consultation is at the core of every local government council. Mm -hmm. um, any closing remarks about being here today, Lawrence? Well, I think it probably finalised by saying, I don't think council understands how stressful it is for residents. You know, we've got an 83 year old mother, if she gets sick while the ferry's out, what happens to her? And uh, she's by no means the only person in that situation. All right, thanks for uh, chatting with us today.